Hello and welcome to today's CodeBuddies.org developer diary. In today's live code session, we've been working on our companionship care app. And we've got a feature here uh, to allow people to add group thumbnails. Our source code is available on GitHub. And let's keep this video short by doing a quick demo of how the feature works and spin through the code. So the companionship care app allows people to define care groups so that they can help um, take care of family or loved ones. Oh, this is a, there's going to be some enhancements. I need to make this image larger. But the feature today was to allow um, care groups to have a, a, a thumbnail to personalize. So you have a photo of the person. Um, this might need to be a little bit larger, like 400 pixels, as you can see it's on large screens. It's kind of a little bit pixelated or offset. So that's essentially what we've been able to do using a Django package called Easy Thumbnails. I don't have a front end form yet to edit the care group photo, but from the Django admin, when you go to your care groups section, there's a file field, which is an image selector, and it will save the image to the media directory, which I configured, and automatically create a thumbnail based on the settings I've specified. So the output is a square cropped thumbnail that is cropped in a way that preserves the interesting parts of the image by excluding parts with um, what he calls low entropy. So you can see this image, the original has some areas that are dark and there's not much change in the pattern on the sides mainly. And most of the entropy or the interesting stuff where there's variation of color and texture, um, light and shadow is preserved in the, in the crop. So this is the actual crop and it was done automatically, uh, not by human, but by this algorithm. Granted the, end user can just upload a square image if they would like to exactly control the crop because the automated outputs maybe not guaranteed to produce a good result. So let's briefly look at the code and this will be continued. There's more tasks I need to do. So essentially we just installed this easy thumbnails app package from PyP using poetry. And it has a little bit of configuration. We'll go down here to the bottom. You define some thumbnail aliases, which just tell Easy Thumbnails what kinds of thumbnails to automatically generate. Here I've specified 200 by 200, which I'm kind of second guessing now. We might want to do a 400 by 400 so that on large screens it works a little bit better. We could have both 200 by 200 and 400 by 400 and maybe conditionally show those uh, depending on the screen size off to refine this, this is the first pass. And the cropping algorithm it's using is the smart crop, which I def described a moment ago, which um, takes the image and it incrementally crops down the requested size, so 200 by 200 square in our case, by removing slices from the edges with the least entropy, so the like least interesting parts where there's the least variance or the most um, homogeneity or kind of just repeating, you know, swaths of color black, solid black in the, in the shadows, for example. Pretty, pretty interesting idea. So yeah, we've got that defined. And since this is the first time we have worked with media in this project, I had to define the, I had to tell Django where to store the media files and how to serve them. We want the media URL to be project slash media and the media files should go in a subdirectory of media, which is going to, I'll show where that's defined in a moment. And once you've defined the media settings, we also need to tell Django to serve it in the local development environment by defining our media patterns using a static representation of our media URL and have it sitting in the document. This, this comes straight out of the Django documentation. Then we just appended the media URL patterns to our, our global URL patterns. 
I need to open up the K-group model to show you how the field is defined. We just added one field today, and this comes from the Easy Thumbnails field. It's um, an extension of the Django image field, as far as I understand, which comes from the Django DB model file handler, handler and has a mix in here. Provides some basic functionality. I haven't looked too much into the source. So we defined on our care group model a new photo field. We told it to upload it to care group photos, which means that within the media directory, it will create a subdirectory if it doesn't exist called care group photo photos. This is an optional field. We might have to display a placeholder in the case people don't upload one. We don't want to make people upload personally identifiable information or media if that's not desirable. So uh, that's pretty easy to do by just allowing it to be blank and null should, I'll just double check if I need to add null is true. I'm not sure if that matters on the image field. Then we wanted to display it in the template. So in our care group list, we're displaying care groups that the person, the user is a member, has a membership in. So in our case, I've created this care group. So I'm a member and coordinator and any other care groups where I'm a member will be listed here. It's not just going to list every care group for privacy reasons. We'll need to add more strict permissions checking, but right now it's kind of rudimentary. Uh, so in each of my, member, my memberships, it's displaying a card basically. And I'll show you some uh, little touches that we added to this card based on the bootstrap documentation. It's not directly relating to image thumbnails, but I just thought it would be a nice low hanging fruit to add while I'm here working in this file. But the main way of displaying the images here, we already had a placeholder image that was showing um, an image from uh, a static placeholder site. I forget which one we were using on splash or something like that. And, um, now we go from that membership and get the care group information because a membership consists of a person in a care group. It's that person's membership in a care group. And from the care group, we can get the photo property. And we use this uh, thumbnail tag called thumbnail URL. And we, here I'm just specifying square thumbnail. So I might change this to square thumbnail 200, for example, and define that here, 200 by 200. And that way we could also have square thumbnail 400 and Bootstrap has a utility where you can uh, dynamically display the image based on a breakpoint. Um, it's in a documentation. I don't know the specifics of it off the top of my head, but that would give a more uh, nuanced approach to, than having this, you know, kind of pixelated image on the on a large scale. On the medium and smaller size screens, the 200 by 200 seems to work fairly well. And that was where I was developing because I have the code and template side by side. And I will come back here in a moment. But when we viewed the group detail, we just had to um, do the same pattern. It's just displaying the care group photo uh, in the column on the right hand side of the page above our annotated members list. We're, we're listing the members here. The only difference is our context is different. Now on this page, we're displaying the group itself. So I just instead of a list of memberships. So just change that to group photo, same um, thumbnail pattern. Um, and we used, uh, in this case, we used this image thumbnail property or class to kind of give it a nice little bordered appearance, sort of like a Polaroid or a photo you'd hang on a wall and add alt text in both cases. And I think the last thing I'll highlight is we have this button here to view the group and previously you had to click on that button in order to view the group, but Bootstrap has a nice, um, it's over here, class called a stretched link that takes um, a link inside an element and expands it to the parent container. So in this case, it's gonna expand all the way to the, the card element here. So I can click anywhere in the card and this link has expanded to encompass the entire card. That's a nice touch. It's easier for people to, to get where they're going that way instead of having to click the, the view button and we might even be able to hide the view button. Um, I've noticed that when I've wrapped um, cards and links previously, you get some weird artifacts like um, 
text formatting changing and things like that. So this is a great enhancement. And again, we added the alt text here. Well, that's about it for the changes. This is work in progress. I'll, I'll need to circle back around uh, to continue the task by allowing people to upload the photos in the front end and not just in the Django admin here. And there might be some other little details we notice, such as those thumbnail um, dimensions. This has been a CodeBuddies.org developer diary. We're recapping the work we've done today. If you'd like to get involved with this or similar projects, stop by CodeBuddies.org. Thanks for your time, and stay well out there.